Hi and welcome back to MRTV. In this video, I'm going to check out tracking of the brand new HP Reverb G2 and I'm going to do so in games that are important to you, like for example Beat Saber or Pavlov or Contractors or In Death or for example Tilt Brush. So all of this goodness is coming up. Alright, welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR headsets and I'm showing you the tracking of the HP Reverb G2 now here. So if you have not yet subscribed, absolutely do so now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Alright, but now let's talk about the tracking of the HP Reverb G2. If you don't know yet what the HP Reverb G2 is, it's an upcoming VR headset that you can pre-order now, the link down in the description. And if you have not yet watched my preview of the device, then absolutely do so now because you don't want to miss this. This is an amazing VR headset and I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you. All right, Beat Saber. So now trying it here with expert mode and I can tell you it works really great. You won't have any problems playing Beat Saber with the HP Reverb G2. So if this was your concern, simply watch the video and you will see it works. If I'm missing one of those blocks, well, it's not the HP Reverb G2's fault. It is simply my lacking skill in the game. So it would be amazing to have someone who can really play Expert Plus actually try this and show this to you. But I can tell you this works like a charm and you won't have any problems playing this. Actually I would go so far to say you will not have a disadvantage as compared to players of the Rift S, the Quest or even Lighthouse tracked headsets because tracking just works perfectly fine. So this is no problem for the HP Reverb G2. Now let's go to the next game and that's In Death. So a wonderful bow and arrow game and well lots of people are wondering can you play bow and arrow games with the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Yes you can and even better now with the HP Reverb G2 because it has two more cameras. So you will have more tracking volume on the right and left side and that is of course really important when playing bow and arrow games. So as you can tell here I hit them where it hurts <laughs> and I have absolutely no problems whatsoever playing in death. Just works as good as with my other headsets and good news for all of the people who want to play in death and bow and arrow games. No problem here with the HP Reverb G2 whatsoever. I had already shown you this in Rec Room, but I simply wanted to show you that in the actual games. So now you get some more hands on here with the HP Reverb G2. All right, and now we are here in Tilt Brush. I had read some comments which said like, all right, Sebastian only did these kind of fast movements and it's only good with fast movements, but it's not good with slow movements or if you need precision. That's why I'm showing you Tilt Brush here because that is actually not true. So here, as you can tell, I have very high precision. I can write something like this here. MRTV is very, very good. <laughs> the official slogan of this channel. And as you can tell, it simply works like a charm. But let me show you that even a bit better here. So I'm doing these kind of lines here and you absolutely need precision to do that and simply compare that with my movements that I'm doing. These are exactly the movements. So you can use Tilt Brush and you can use any kind of productive app that will require you to have these kind of really precise movements. No problem whatsoever here with the tracking of the HP Reverb G2. If you don't feel like working in VR or drawing or designing, well, you can also slash and hack like I do here with Blade and Sorcery. And I'm showing you this game because I want to show you how well weapons will work that you have to use with two hands like this sword here. And well, as you can tell, it just works like a charm. So. This is also important, all fans of Blade and Sorcery and all of these kind of games that require you to yeah, use a sword. Oh, 
yeah, this lady would have hoped this wouldn't work so well, right? So you can use these games and you can play these games and you can have lots of fun. And yeah, the HP Reverb G2 will make it all happen. Next game. Next game is the thrill of the fight, a boxing game. So I want to find out how well would a boxing game work and especially how close can I hold the controller in order to block and I can tell you it works fine as you can tell here but I must also tell you that in my opinion the tracking of the Oculus Rift S and of the Quest works even better in these kind of situations because you can put the controllers closer to the headset. Hopefully this will get better and this also got better with the Quest and the Rift S but at this moment in time I would say the Quest and the Rift S have a little advantage here but it also works well with the Reverb G2. Next game here, Hell Split. Another slashing game and this one is fun. I can totally recommend this to you. And also here I had no problems whatsoever I didn't even feel any difference as compared to playing this with a Lighthouse Tracked headset. So, if you want to play Hell Split Arena, check my shadow here, you can also do this really well with the HP Reverb G2. And now we're getting to the part that probably most of you have been waiting for. We're trying first person shooters and especially aiming down the side. So we're going to do that here now in Pavlov. We're at the shooting range here and as you can tell I'm aiming down the sides and it works without any problem. Just check it out and just see how stable everything is. There's no shaking here with the controllers and you can simply play your favorite first person shooters without any problems. And this here is Pavlov. So one thing I have to tell you, you have to make sure that you don't play this in direct sunlight. Even in a well lit room, like the room that you see here, you can run into problems. So what you need, you need curtains or any way to darken the room. In direct sunlight, this is not going to work well. So that's really important. But well, all of these inside out tracking systems, they do have these problems. Also the Rift S and the Quest and the Cosmos even more than the others. So absolutely you need to be able to darken down the room a bit. If you need the perfect tracking that will work in the bright sunlight or in the absolute darkness, then definitely you need the Lighthouse tracking of, for example, the Cosmos Elite or the Pimax headsets or the Index. All right, now we are here in Contractors and also aiming down the sides here. And as you can tell, it works really well. And as you can tell, my room is lit, it's, it's pretty bright, but I do have curtains. So just again, make sure that you have curtains. Yeah, again, I can simply recommend the HP Reverb G2 to you. I really hope that with this video, now you have a better impression, even showing you this now in games and not only in Rec Room. So I believe that now you can really tell, okay, this works fine with first person shooters. This works great with any kind of game like Beat Saber or blade and sorcery or basically anything that you throw at it and even working with the device will work fine with this tracking so if you need to design something in tilt brush or in any other app yes you do have the precision to work with this the tracking is good enough to actually really precisely work in virtual reality so Big recommendation, the HP Reverb G2, you can pre-order this right now and the links are down in the description of this video. If you're in Europe, this is going to set you back 584 euros. If you're in the US, this is going to set you back 599 dollars. Yeah, please tell me now, do you want any more HP Reverb G2 games? Do you want to see more tracking or do you want to see comparisons with the Index or the Rift S, like direct comparisons, for example? That might be interesting for you if you're wondering, hey, what should I buy? Should I buy the Index or the Rift S or the Reverb G2? If you want these kind of comparisons, please do let me know in the comment section below. 
And that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.